It is so important to continue to talk with your health care provider about the medicines that you take. A new study that just came out in the Journal of the American Medical Association now looks again at the question, is estrogen safe for you? And the question seems to be answered with a little bit more refinement than it was before. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. In 2002, there was a study called the Women's Health Initiative, or the WHI, that showed that taking estrogen and progesterone together increased a woman's risk of breast cancer, blood clots, stroke, heart attack, and in general was a quite worrisome combination for women to take. Now this turned the world upside down because up until then women were be being given estrogen and progesterone uh, pretty much from the time of menopause on until death. Now we saw that women were starting to stop taking estrogen and progesterone and it was really quite frightening. I can honestly say that one of the things that women are asking me most commonly, should I take estrogen? And those who are taking it are always saying, should I stay on estrogen and should I take progesterone, etc., etc. Well, let me tell you what this new study showed and how it affects you. It turns out that during the window of the Women's Health Initiative, 10,000 plus women were taking estrogen and progesterone. But not so well publicized, another 10,000 plus women were taking estrogen only. And the reason that they were taking estrogen only is because a woman who has her uterus removed, a woman who's had a hysterectomy, doesn't have to take progesterone. All she needs is the estrogen because the combination of estrogen and progesterone together protects the uterine lining from developing uterine cancer. So if you've had your uterus removed, all you have to take is the estrogen should you want to take that medication. Now here's what the study showed. It turns out that women who took estrogen only for six years and then were followed for up to 10 years actually had a reduction in breast cancer, a 23% reduction in breast cancer, which is statistically significant. So this was really quite important. Now some of the benefits they had like lowering of colon cancer and lowering of hip fracture, which was a benefit from the original study, those benefits began to wear off slightly over the 10 year window when they stopped taking the medication. Now something that was really uh, very interesting was that in the original study, some of the women began taking the medicine in their 50s and that's who benefited. The women I'm talking about are the women who started taking estrogen in their 50s, age 50 to 59. They're the ones who actually had the reduction in breast cancer. But women who started taking the medication in their 70s, they actually had a worse outcome and they didn't do better. So if you're a woman in your 70s and thinking of starting taking estrogen, that's probably not a good idea. Now something that's really important to understand that was also in this study is that the women in their 50s who took estrogen only also had a 40 to 50 percent improvement. In other words, 40 to 50 percent less risk of a chronic disease, of a heart attack, of stroke, or of uh, other chronic conditions. So it was overall a very positive thing to do. In contrast, Women in their 70s who first started taking the estrogen actually had a worsening of all those conditions. So, bottom line, we're continuing to refine the story on estrogen and stay tuned because it changes every year, two or three. But as of this recent study, if you're a woman who's had your uterus removed and in your 50s and healthy, it seems very safe to take estrogen only for up to six years and it may even improve your risk of breast cancer, blood clot, heart attack, stroke, and even death due to chronic illness. Well, that's it for now. I hope this has been helpful for you. I'm Dr. Seibel. This is drseibel.com. And if you'd like an ebook of related information on taking estrogen and menopause, please leave me your first name and your email address, and I'll be happy to send that to you. Remember, it's better to stay well than to get well. Stay well, everyone.